We continue our focus on our top story this evening. Power Utility ESCOM has now implemented stage four load shedding. It says uh, it's lost more generating units and the rolling power cuts will save the system from total collapse. But what exactly does stage four mean? Well, and how dire is the situation? Really, to discuss this, I'm joined by energy sector analyst Roger Lili. Good evening, Roger. Thanks very much for coming through. Good Stage evening. Stage four load shedding. Yes. And what exactly does it mean? Okay, so the ESKIM uh, generating system that we have in South Africa uh, consists of power stations which together could generate about 45,000 megawatts. Um, in, in good times when the economy is booming, we need that sort of power. Currently, we don't need that sort of power. We, we, the economy is depressed and a lot of the large uh, load is not there. So currently, we're looking at about 30 uh, megawatts or 30,000 megawatts of requirement. So for Eskom to now suddenly shed 4,000 means that something serious is going wrong. What could uh, that be? Well, <coughs> Eskom say that six generators have failed simultaneously. Um, this is very serious, but usually what happens in a case like this is that uh, Eskom will take a certain power station or part of a power station off the grid in order to do maintenance on it. But the moment you do that, the rest of the load is then shared by the rest of the, of the power generators. So it, it appears that this load uh, which was now shared by the other power stations was now more than those other power stations could cope and we have a domino effect so six of them suddenly start dropping out and we suspect it is in that way because it started with 2,000 megawatts jumping to 4,000 megawatts of load shedding. Now what it really means is that the, the system, the generating system of Eskom cannot supply the minimum requirement when the economy is depressed. Uh, which is very serious. So the question, the answer to your question, how dire is it? I think it's extremely serious. Um, and, and South Africans need to be aware of that. Shouldn't some of these things be predictable and those well equipped to actually run you know, um, these facilities should be able to know beforehand what's most likely to happen? Isn't that in the ideal environment, yes. Certainly, Voyo. What is supposed to happen? Th absolutely, Voyo. That, that would be the ideal situation. Uh, so the, when that doesn't happen, yes. what then is that telling us about the people whose job it is to do what needs to be done? Well, that's the point. Um, for many years now, Eskom has deferred maintenance on power stations because they claim they don't have enough money uh, in order to, to do so. Um, and, and they have other, other reasons in terms of skill shortages and what have you. So, as I say, uh, when, when a particular power station is taken out of service in order to, to do maintenance on it, other power stations which should have been able to cope with the additional load because they have not been maintained properly start to collapse and so you get this domino effect because now suddenly there's an additional one out of service so that there's now a greater load shared by what's left and more and more of those start knocking down and this is the problem because this could easily lead to to a total countrywide blackout were it not for the fact that we have a very sophisticated national control system uh, based in Germiston, which controls this and prevents this from happening. And the way it does that is by simply switching off areas um, to, to keep what is still operation, operating, operating. Uh, but then, uh, I mean, Roger, remember in December? Yes. Before then, we were told that with the skill set that we have, yes. the people who are managing ASCOM, okay. And everything that's got to do with it. Yes. Right? With the resources at our disposal. Yes. In terms of power stations and money <laughs> and so on. Yes. Right? We will be able to get by. We were told that there were people who were not going to go and leave. Yes, right. Precisely to avoid the situation that we are we are in now. So even if we were to, as some people say, cast aspersions on the ability, 
you know, or fitness of the people who are supposed to run ESCOM to do what they need to do, we were assured that with everything that we've got, we shouldn't get to the situation that we are in. Yeah, now. and I think I think you're 100 percent right. And the, the the reason that this has happened, according to uh, Eskom's Andrew Etzinger this morning, he said that uh, the, when the, when these power stations start dropping out, they can resort to their emergency open cycle gas turbines. But these things run on diesel. And Eskom is spending 100 million rand per day on diesel. Uh, now, the, the difficulty is they've run out of diesel. It seems, from what I've heard, it seems that uh, th there is insufficient diesel. There's also insufficient water um, where they have a, a, a hydro system where water is pumped up at night and stays in, a, in an upper dam and then during load time they, they open the chutes and the water runs down, turns the turbines and generates electricity. But once the water's run down, it's down. Now you need electricity to pump it back up again and there isn't any. So we don't have that resource anymore. We don't have the diesel resources anymore because there seems to be, it appears from what I hear, it seems to be that there's a shortage of diesel uh, certainly at the site where, where it's needed. Um, and the coal-fired power stations, uh, because of their lack of maintenance, and, and we know that the Madupi brand-new power stations are failing. Brand-new ones are failing because of bad design and bad construction. you in the publishing industry. Yes. You read from or to share information um, or, uh, you know, with people from other jurisdictions. What do people in situ situations that like we are in now do under these circumstances? Well, in, in countries other than South Africa, um, they have neighbors from whom they can borrow electricity. We can't do that because our neighboring countries actually rely on electricity from South Africa. So they can't supply us with electricity with the exception of a little bit that we get from Mozambique. But we need that anyway. So it's not additional. We're using it all the time anyway. So we can't really count that as, as additional help out electricity. Whereas if this happened in Canada, they can take from the United States. If this happened in any European country, they can get from their neighboring countries. They're all much closer to one another and they all have sufficient to share. But South Africa is alone in, in this regard. And so it, 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 that's why I say it, it is dire and it is very serious because we have no other source. Well, so not, no much ho not much hope for us at this stage. I, I, I'm confident that Eskom will put it right. The trouble is when. We're going to have a protracted period of rolling load shedding, rotational load shedding, they call it. Roger, that's why we're going to leave it for now. Thanks very much that's for pleasure. coming through and for your insights in energy sector analyst Roger Lely.